right, so this is the first goal of the game, courtesy of Julian Kranza. And so you have Jacob Glezis winning the header, playing it into Nate Hariel, who flicks the ball out wide to Mikel Uwa. And, and notice how far wide Mikel is. He's all the way on the right touch line. Highlighted on your screen is Julian Kranza, and pay attention to his movement leading up to this goal. This is class right here by Mikel. little ball roll to create that space. And this is even better from him because for people that aren't familiar with Mikel Uwa or the Philadelphia Union, this is a striker playing this type of pass into Daniel Gazdok. And to have the vision and the passing ability, you, you don't see this from many strikers around the world. And, and this is how you can tell the Philadelphia Union are getting more and more confident in each other. Because as soon as Mikel does that ball roll, Daniel Gaza is already running into space. And for Mikel to pick out this pass, play it perfectly into Daniel. Great touch. Terrible ball in by Nate Harriel. And credit to Matt Real for keeping this alive. Plays the ball into Julian Kranza. Bryce Duke has this defended pretty well. But this is a world-class strike here by Julian Kranza. You cannot teach this. And, and this is why I've said the last two podcasts now that Julian Kranza is not long for MLS. This is a world-class strike. You, you see many players over Europe attempt these kind of shots and they don't go in because, you know, it's defended well or it's really good goalkeeping. And maybe the goalkeeping could have been a little bit better here on this play, but still, this is a class goal to create just a little bit of space off of Bryce Duke to play this ball inside the defensive midfielder and one of the center backs to curl this ball around the goalkeeper. I mean, this is class from Julian Carranza. And I, I don't see how Julian Carranza stays in MLS much longer with the form that he's in if he continues to play like this. And this was one of his two outside of the 18 goals. And, and we're seeing Julian every single week get more and more comfortable. We'll go ahead and replay this goal for you guys. Again, header into Nate. And... Class from Mikel here, plays the ball into space, into Daniel Gazdog. And, and this is really good from the Union, just leading up. The, the only bad thing I can say is that cross by Nate Ariel. But it, but it is good to see. The Union don't have to just be a long ball team. They can beat you by building up. And we, we've seen the last couple of seasons that the Union have been a pretty dominant team when it comes to sending in crosses into the box. And, and that is what led to this goal, but it is nice to see, okay, we can play from the back and, and really build up and, and not have to beat you with a long ball over the top. And again, just class stuff here by Matt Real to keep this ball alive and Bryce Duke doing everything he can to defend Julian Kranza, but that's a world-class strike. Such a tight window to get that ball into, number one, and to have the vision to have the awareness, okay, this is where I'm going to place my shot. And, and he couldn't have hit this any more perfectly. And, and to curve this around the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. Th this is world-class stuff, ladies and gentlemen, from Julian Carranza. And enjoy him while you have him, Philadelphia Union fans. Enjoy him while you have him. All right, so this is the second goal of the match. Mikel Uwa gets on the goal sheet, his third of the season against Montreal. And you're going to see just the Union do something that they don't typically do, and that's playing out of the back. But when Montreal shows no interest in pressing them, of course they're going to play out of the back. They're not going to force anything. Uh, the blue lines, just look at the spacing, the positioning by the Union center backs. Jacob Iglesias is so far wide. Nobody's pressing him when he gets the ball. Highlighted also with the white line is your two defensive midfielders in Jesus Bueno and Leon Flock. Notice their positioning here while Jacob Glesnes goes and just takes all the space he's given. Leon Flock's going to push forward while Jesus Bueno is going to be the one staying back. And now here highlighted on your screen is Thorkelson, one of the three center backs of Montreal. He's going to go ahead and press the ball because they respect the playmaking ability by Jacob Glesnes. So somebody has to step. None of the midfielders are stepping to the ball. And so you got to respect Jacob Glesnes being on the ball. is always a threat to shoot outside of the 18-yard box. So somebody's going to go ahead and step to the ball. It's one of the center backs. Julian Kranza and Nate Harriel, who's on the wide right of your screen, 
They have all that space to run into if they choose to. Julian's going to make this run, pull Campbell out of positioning. And you have Ned Harriel, who is now into that space that was created by that run by Julian Carranza. Mikhail Uwar is highlighted. Pay attention to his movement, just off the ball, trying to create space for himself. And he's going to be the one, like I mentioned, getting the goal here. Ball into Julian Carranza. Great outside the boot pass here from Julian. Not a great pass in by Matt Real, but just like Matt Real, credit to Nate Harriel on this play for keeping the play alive. Terrific finish here by Mikael Ua, but honestly, this is terribly defended by Montreal. This is bad goalkeeping. Why you're not sending this ball out of play, I'm not quite sure. Again here, great pass by Julian Carranza outside the boot pass. Not sure what Matt Real is thinking here, but credit to Nate Harriel for being the first to react, keeping this alive, and great shot to test the goalkeeper, and none of the center backs are aware of Mikel Ua, and Mikel told me after the game, 99 out of 100 times, the goalie's going to make the save, and you're not going to have a chance to make the rebound, but this is why. This is why you make that that run, so you can get the rebound, and that's exactly what Mikel Ua does here to get his sixth goal of the season. All right, so this is the third and final goal of the game. Julian Carranza gets his brace here on this play. We're going to see Daniel Gaza win this 50-50 ball here. Great ball into Julian Carranza, who, by the way, if you guys forgot, this is right after Julian Carranza had taken a shot to the nuts, and he gets rewarded with a goal here. And so uh, credit to Julian for recovering pretty quickly here. Uh, Coming up here on your screen is... His Bueno highlighted in blue because notice he takes the center defensive midfielder out of the play here and opens up all the space for Leon Flock to run into. Great ball in by Nate to Leon. And look how narrow the defenders are of Montreal. Part of this is because the Union aren't playing wide at the moment. And so they don't have to have the defenders play out wide. They can just have a narrow shape, keep it compact in the middle and you're going to see George Campbell step out of position here and you're going to see Mikhail Uwe make this run to pull Waterman out of position and so now Montreal is potentially stuck with only two defenders and because Campbell comes out of position Mikhail's making this run that creates space right here for Daniel Gazdag and it's not the greatest pass in the world by Liam Fla. credit to Julian Kranza for keeping this play alive, and you're going to see nice flick ones here by Julian and Daniel Gazag, and uh, a, a little bit luck here on this play, but it's it's good movement off the ball from Jesus Bueno, who creates all that space for Liam Flock to run into, and then you have the run from Mikhail Ua, two center backs from Montreal out of position here, and Montreal, okay, a little unfortunate to concede this goal, have it deflect off of two players. But the the movement's what stands out here by the Union. And they get rewarded for just creating that space. And uh, again, a little bit unfortunate for Montreal, but the Union don't care. They'll take that goal any day of the week.